Hello everyone, you're watching Gender Queer Chat. My name is Sig Flup, also known as Assembly Assembly, and uh, today is Wednesday, which means it's time once again for me to fill in. And uh, this time you're hearing a bit of a hum that I necessarily can't get rid of. Here's more of it. That's uh, my lamp. I decided that uh, I'm not really illuminated too well um, in these <laughs> in these videos, so have this lamp that I'm staring at, and I'm very illuminated. It's very local illumination, and uh, hopefully my camera doesn't fall. And uh, so, hey, how are you? I'm good. That's great. Um, today, Today's topic, or this week's topic, rather, this week's word, is bullying, uh, in addition to the it's, It Gets Better project. Bullying. <laughs> Um, I have a lot to say about this topic, um, quite frankly, so much that I don't, uh, know where to begin. I mean, uh, growing up, like, um, I mean, I, I know not, not everyone looks androgynous, but, but I, I do, and so, so growing up, you know, I got the, the usual homophobic slurs, and, uh, and whatnot, and things kind of... Someone, like, I remember this this one time someone tossed a bottle in my direction out of a car. And uh, just people just generally messing with me. Um, but, but nothing really too bad. Like, I've never gotten beat up or anything like that. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so it was all just kind of verbal. Um, but it still brings you down a, a, a great deal. Like... There were there were plenty of reasons why I was avoiding school. There's a there are lots of reasons why I didn't didn't like school, and and have that on top of it, um, it just made me hate it. I absolutely hate it. And uh, so that was a difficult time in my life, and uh, I think it's a it's a difficult time um, for a lot of people. And, and so to so to reflect that it gets better. <laughs> Um, project uh, ideals. Um, yeah, it does get better, um, but it gets better in a very weird way. I, you know, I think bullying is uh, is is persistent all throughout your life, and uh, the form of it just changes. And uh, I think when you're a kid, it, it's it's a little bit more clear cut, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but uh, when you're oh now I have GSM noises. This microphone is picking up all the interference. Um, but uh, yeah, when you're a kid, it's a little bit more clear cut, and uh, when you get older, the bullying gets um, a little bit more subtle. I think the aim of any bully, uh, subconsciously or not, and a lot of the time when you do get older, you you find out that it's subconscious, and they don't even realize they're bullying you. I think the I think the aim of, of of bullies and bullying is to silence you. I think that's the the primary aim through a humiliation through through whatever means. I, I wanna relay relay a story. Um my uh uh my straight uh, f friend, uh one of my best friends. I have two best friends, one one of whom is 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 a uh, cis uh straight woman. Um, who, you know, she, she's really cool. I, I really like her in my life. And it's an interesting perspective, quite frankly. And, and she was telling me about how um, this other woman she knew, um, my, my best friend, um, who shall remain nameless, I'll call her M. M is, is you know, fairly feminist in, in her approach uh, to things. And uh, I forget what it was she said, but in the presence of another friend of hers, and... Uh, her potential, <laughs> this other friend's potential boyfriend, she said something um, that uh, had a feminist undertone to it. And um, her friend's potential boyfriend said something to the effect of, no, nah, I don't know about that feminism business. And uh, which her friend reflected <laughs> because her friend was trying to get with this other person and so even though her friend knew better, she was like, "Yeah, blah, 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 blah. 
and uh, <laughs> they're bloody, they're nearly 40, a lot of those people, come on. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it, it persists for a long time, and I think that's that's an example of that, and it just becomes more obscure. Um, for me, like, the, the big thing with me in my, my later life is people don't trust me. Like, people think I'm a thief. And, and people accuse me of every time, to- like everywhere I've worked, people have accused me of, of, uh, of stealing things, and it's been the end of of some jobs, and uh, it certainly has prevented me from moving forward. And I don't know why. I, I think it's because, um, I think it's for me. I, I think it's because, um, you know, I don't really present clear cut. And, uh, therefore I'm always hiding something to people and they don't trust me. Um, and that is a form of bullying that I'm still living with. Um, as far as it gets better, I actually got this. (laughs) Whoop! This, uh, 101 Alternatives to Suicide for Teens, Freaks, and Other Outlaws by, uh, by Kate Bornstein. Um, I was, uh, if you want this, I'll mail it to you. (laughs) Just, uh... Um, send, go to Assembly Assembly's channel and send me a message, and uh, I'll probably mail it to you. But uh, a forward by Sarah, from Tegan and Sarah, and on the back is, it gets better. And I think that's where it, where it comes from, originally, although I'm not sure. Um, I kind of a low, low part in my life, I was, I was in the hospital, and... Um, so one of the nurses there was genderqueer. Yeah, believe it or not. I wish I could be their friend. Um, unfortunately, I met them in a pseudo-professional manner. <laughs> um, and they gave me this. And um, Although, I think it's a little bit past my... my I think it's a bit young for me. And I looked through it, and... Yeah, it just seems like it was meant for someone a bit younger. So if you want it... I'll sign it and give it to you. So yeah, email me email me about that. Uh take care everyone. Bye-bye.